Um, can we do it just like this? So I can... <laughs> Anonymous. Yeah. And then I'll pitch shift our voices down. I feel like the maid in Tom and Jerry. Oh. I like her. But. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I like his beard. I had a dream we did that. Uh huh. And they shattered and it went all over the carpet. Really? I had mm -hmm. a dream you tried to kill me. So you woke up in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh my god. Where are your coasters? <clears throat> oh yeah. I don't even know how to start. Me neither. So we're telling a very important story. I used to do a show, or I used to do videos called My Craziest Story, where we take other people's story and I would tell them in a video. Uh -huh. Well, this is our craziest story. Is this your craziest story? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the story of our first time. Um, <laughs> this is the time we did edibles at a theater and ended up spending thousands of dollars in hospital bills. That's the one. So, should I do the backstory of how we got it? Or yeah. Who's, whose idea it. was it to ruin our lives? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. The reason why we had to get the edible was because we have smoked, we've smoked the pot weeds before. There are children here. Okay, we don't do as I say, not as I do. I don't know. The backstory is, the reason why we got the edible was because you didn't get high off of the smokings of the marijuanas. I didn't know how to put it in. Yeah. I didn't know how to inhale. Okay, and I tried to teach him, I'm a good friend. <laughs> I tried to show him the ways of the pot weeds, but he wouldn't feel anything. Like, he he didn't get it. So I was like, I know what will make sure that you actually feel it is if you eat it. So I put the joint in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and thus the journey begins. So he stuck his whole mouth in the pie. <laughs> so that was in Maryland. Yeah. When we lived in Maryland, mm -hmm. we tried... Doing the smoking weed every day. Out of a... One uh, time. A joint. Out of a joint. It didn't work. Mm -hmm. And then when we both moved back to California is when we decided to try edible yeah. for the first time. Yeah. I had never tried them, but I, in my very naive mind, thought, oh, it's the same thing as smoking. There's no difference there. No, 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 no. There's a huge difference, especially when you purchase... Uh, dispensary grade. Here we go. <laughs> so I worked. She told me to get the stuff. She literally said, get the stuff. Yeah. It sounded dirty when she said it. I felt like opening my jacket and selling her something else. Get the, get stuff. the stuff. I got the stuff. Yeah. But there was a guy I worked with at the time. And... We'll call him Joe. We'll call him Andrew, because his name was Andrew. <laughs> uh, <laughs> said that joke <laughs> so andrew's the type of person that you knew he knew where stuff was so i asked him for the stuff i said hey me and my friend want to do edibles for the first time um can you help me out here's 80 bucks i don't know what it's gonna cost <laughs> <laughs> and he comes back to me well i don't want to put all the blame on andrew i told him i he, like, scrolled through on his phone. He's like, what do you want? I saw a cookie. And it said 1,000 milligrams. And I was like, get two of those. One for me, one for her. Oh, my God. I have no idea. Uh, milligrams I don't understand at this point, okay? I'm more of a metric system. I didn't know that part of the story. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me in pounds. I don't know what metrically what that is, milligrams. But Tell me in kilometers, okay? I'm Mexican. How, how, how long is that? How long is a milligram? So... Um, a bunch of back and forth between me and him. He goes to a dispensary, gets two 1,000 milligram cookies. Chocolate chip. Chocolate chip infused. I forget the strain because I don't understand strains <clears throat> either. It was some sort of purple dragon, sour diesel, kush. <laughs> Gasoline sour. <laughs> um, Pikachu. <laughs> so I finally get, I get the cookies. And then 
once we have the cookies in possession, whose idea was it to go to the movie theater? That's what I did. <laughs> whose idea was it to pick this, the, the worst movie to watch while tripping? Oops. Thank you. We watched Get Out. Get Out. Yeah. The Jordan Peele one. Yeah. That one. No, we did not watch Get Out. Okay. We watched half of Get Out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much you watched. No. So. I'll tell that part of the story. The reason we're telling this story is because so many people have requested that we tell it. Yeah. Um, disclaimer. Do not ever do no. edibles. Autumn, if you're watching this, do don't. as I say. Not as I do. Don't try this at home. No. Don't try this at theater. No. Don't try this while watching a psychological... Oh, my Lord. <laughs> God damn. Okay. So, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be split up. Okay? We had two completely different experiences. Yeah. So, <clears throat> tell your side of the... <clears throat> she, she went first. Yeah. Tell your side of the story, and then I'll tell my experience. All right. Well... I didn't want to look like a chicken, okay? I, Because I got Latin pride. I went all in. I went deep, okay? Because I... Here's the thing, though. I thought... Because I've smoked weed before. Again, don't... Don't listen to me. Um, and I thought it was the same exact feeling. I was like, it's eating it. Uh, I just thought it was going to last longer to hit. And then once it hits you, it was going to be like the same thing as smoking, you know, a blunt or whatever. Um, but... T'was not. Um... Let's let's preface this uh, with the fact that I worked earlier that day. Let's preface this with I had nothing in my system for my body to digest. Uh, that cookie was the very first thing I put in my mouth, I think, aside from popcorn, because we got popcorn. Um, and so that was the first thing that hit my stomach. I don't remember much other than like it tasting terrible. Like it was not oh, it good. Was bad. Um, and then I remember him saying oh you're supposed to have like a quarter size amount um and I think I had that much but I think I broke two pieces off which I think was my mistake because there was two cookies in the pack so I broke two quarter size amounts and again I have Latin pride and I just ate it I just went for it and I thought okay this is just gonna be I'm just gonna chill and watch a movie um there's a part in the movie now let's go. We're in the movie theater. The we're only s- part you remember. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Here's where I feel like I timed this out perfectly because I was immersed. I really lived the 3D experience of this movie, and we only paid for the 2D ticket. So, if anything, we got our money's worth there because... Loophole. Spoiler alert, there's a part of the movie where she is... Uh, um, do that. Yeah. So I remember this part. I remember this part clearly after the dinner, after he comes out and she starts doing this little number. But I swear to you, the minute she said sink, I sunk. And I don't remember anything other than seeing just colors. And I remember like wanting to reach out for him, but I couldn't see him. He would only pop up as the color blue for some reason. Which I disagree with. Yeah. The fact that it wasn't purple disappoints me. I'm sorry. Who are you cheating on me with? I'm sorry. Who the F is blue? Where were we? Where were you? Um, you were cheating on me with blue. That's true. Okay, so um, I wasn't seeing anything and I wasn't comprehending like anything that was happening because at this point I was I was tripping uh, male genitalia. <laughs> male genitalia. <laughs> Hard. Bad. Like it was bad. Bad. It was not fun at all. And I remember thinking to myself, you need to be better. You need to get better. You have a daughter. So Autumn would pop up as the color yellow. <laughs> and I, I, again, I poop you not. She was just hopping around as this yellow Which bee. she does in real life. Yeah, she does. Um, and I just remember thinking like, oh, my parents are going to be so mad and they're going to yell at me and I'm not going to understand what they're saying because I'm going to be high for the rest of my life. Like that was my, <laughs> that was my biggest fear was that I was never going to come out of this because here's the thing about me, me tripping male genitalia hmm. is I would come out and I would be okay. And I'd be like, okay, I'm here. And then I'd get sucked right back into it. Like, and then I don't remember much 
other and this is where it kind of gets emotional for me because I do feel bad because I remember uh I remember Brandon being like Yoya Yoya are you okay and I remember hearing him be worried but again I have Latin pride I just remember being like I'm okay I'm okay <laughs> I remember being like, just let me sit. I'm okay. I'm okay. Just stop being so blue. I'm okay. <laughs> and that's as far as I remember. That's all I really got. So we'll stop it there, because eventually you come too. But mean, meanwhile, I go through a whole experience of my own. So we get to the theater. She tells me, I get there first. Mm -hmm. I feel... So weird because I'm walking around with a weed cookie in my pocket. Yeah. And she told me she told me to try it first. Go to the bathroom, try a little bit, and then when I get there I'll try some. I'm like, no, no way. Okay. I know your Latin pride. <laughs> I'm not gonna be tripping women genitalia if you're not tripping men genitalia. So she gets there I wait, she gets there, and I believe we waited until the credits. Not the credits, but the, the, the previews. previews. The we previews. waited until the previews of Get Out. Yeah. Opened the cookie. Mm -hmm. It was dark. But we knew exactly how much we were taking. I, oh. Which we didn't realize was too much. Um, a gigantic amount of a thousand milligram infused cookie. Keep in mind, together, we maybe weigh 230 pounds. Right. Together. And regardless if I've eaten previous in the day, it doesn't matter I'm so small that it's going to go through me and hit me hard anyway. Yeah. Um, so we do that. And the movie starts. We get maybe 30 minutes in. Like, it's starting to get to the, the suspenseful part of the movie. And we don't feel it. She doesn't feel it. She's like, do you think we should take another bite? <laughs> and I was like, I don't think so. Because <laughs> I'm paranoid. Regardless, I was paranoid before I took the cookie, paranoid during the cookie, paranoid today, mm -hmm. years later. So, we eat the cookie. It's 30 minutes later. <clears throat> it hits her first hard, okay? I turn blue all of a sudden. <laughs> all I see her do is this. <laughs> the movie became... Ten times more interesting immediately. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's how I knew she was getting hit. And I was like, do you feel it? And she was like... She didn't respond. <laughs> she couldn't be bothered. And over the period of maybe... 20 minutes. Okay. She... Gradually, like aging, slipped down into her chair. Further and further, okay? She just, over the course of 20 minutes, I'm watching her. It hasn't hit me yet. I'm up here, sitting like a normal person. She's like this still. Because she refuses to sit anywhere but the front row in a movie theater. I'm blind! So, we're in the front row. We're in the front section of rows. The third row, but in the front section. And she's just gazing. And I'm like... Looking at my colors. I'm terrified. Because she's like this, but it hasn't hit me yet. So I know this is my future. I just don't know when. It's like, it's nothing like anything, okay? It's like what I'm telling. So at one point, I, I feel like maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm starting to feel it. But I don't know, I'm being paranoid, I'm just waiting. But that was around the same time that Gloria went from this to vomiting all over the floor. Yeah. Instantly just curled up and just started projectile. Mm -hmm. Is that the word? Projectile. Projectile. Yeah. projectile. All over the floor. I freak out. Okay. I see her do that. She comes back up, but like her eyes are completely shut and she starts convulsing, like doing this. Yeah. She, I thought she was having a seizure. Mm -hmm. So I went... I was like, I got to do something. I went to help her. I turned my head like this. <laughs> it hit. <laughs> okay. No, I turned my head to look at her, but I was still looking at the screen. <laughs> but
But I turned my head. I don't know what happened. And I was like, no. It hit. This Instantly. Is... Yeah. So I remember the throwing up part vaguely. I remember throwing up. And I remember him being like, I don't like this. Yo, yeah, I don't like this. And I remember thinking in my head, because I don't know if I said this out loud. I remember being like, why are you talking so slow? Because <laughs> I heard, yo, yeah, I don't like this. Shut up. I did it. <laughs> and I don't remember much after that. I remember throwing up and then again. Because I was going in spurts. I was, I would trip, I would come back, I would trip, and then I'd come back. And then after that, it, it just, my mind went blank. No more colors, no nothing. Just blank. Because you passed out. So, yeah, it hits me. Um, and as it hits me, after a while, I'm buckled over. She's buckled over. <laughs> She's just like rocking back and forth. And that's when I start saying, I don't like this. I don't like this. And my idea was, I knew it was gonna be embarrassing. Cause I, I said, I, I tried to get her to go to the car. I said, let's just get in the car. We can sleep in the car overnight. We'll be fine. We'll wake up in the morning, good as new. Mm -hmm. And she says, Deebs, I can't move my legs. <laughs> She could not move her legs. And I was like, I don't understand. How can you not move your legs? As I tried to move my legs and they would not. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I get uh, it. okay. <laughs> so I'm buckled over. She's buckled over. I'm not watching the movie anymore. It's freaking me out. Yeah. Okay. It's in a suspenseful part. The whole movie is a suspenseful part. Yeah. My whole trip was, you remember that scene in, I think, I don't remember which Batman it was. It was part of the trilogy where the scarecrow where he wore the mm -hmm. burlap sack yeah and he would spray you with stuff and you'd hallucinate and it was like yeah. creepy that's what i was feeling oh um so i would see sharp shapes oh like just like that my colors sound real good right now your colors were good, my I, colors were good. I saw like a burlap figure oh my god and with sharp shapes and so i was freaking out because I was like, I'm never coming out of this. Yeah. I didn't think I was ever going to come out of it. Mm -mm. It was so hard. It was terrifying. And so as I'm buckled over with her, she's throwing up, I'm not. Um, my whole thought process was, and we're both really big into Tony Robbins. Yes. Um, we love Tony Robbins. We Tony Robbins. watch him. We listen to him all the time. We mm -hmm. just love his stuff. Love what he does. Yep. Have all the books. Have all the books. My mindset at this point... <laughs> was just, uh, all I heard was quotes in Tony Robbins' voice. And I thought, clearly, I could think my way positively out of this high. <laughs> I can motivate myself. I could. I was like, I was sitting there. I don't, I can't imagine what I look like, but I was sitting there real stern, like, if I concentrate hard enough, I won't be high. And then I looked up. No, am I. <laughs> and it was so hard. If I unleash the power within. If, if I awaken the giant. <laughs> so that happened. And I realized I eventually give up because I cannot positively think my high away. Mm -mm. She's gone. She's just <laughs> like this, the, whole, the rest of the movie. Yeah. And I, there's a part of the movie where I black out. Um, I don't, I don't remember anything else past a certain point. And I would come to, I would wake up the part where he's like gripping the chair and then I went back out and then I come back to the last time I came to the credits were rolling. The lights came on. Mm -hmm. We're sitting on the back row in the front section, which means there's a, a walking platform behind us yeah. and then all the seats from there. Mm -hmm. I can't move. I cannot, I cannot get up. My mouth is dry. I still can't feel my legs. She's gone. Mm. And we get to the point to where people are getting up and leaving. And I'm embarrassed because I know that I'm going to have to ask for someone's help. Ugh, I hate, I hate the feeling just thinking about it. Oh, I don't like it. And so 
All I can do <laughs> is we're sitting in the chair. I see people coming from our left, walking down this aisle. I see a lady, and I do this. <laughs> That's as far as I could go. That was my help. <laughs> help. I, I made eye contact with her, and I was like, that was help. So she comes over. Do you think you made eye contact with her, or were you still looking at the screen? I was probably still watching. I was probably in the bathroom at this point. I don't know. So I made eye contact with her. She came over. She sat next to Gloria. And I can talk. It's really slow. My eyes are shut. I'm tripping. Okay? I'm experiencing it. Paranoidly. So my eyes are closed. She's asking me questions. She's trying to get Gloria to respond to her questions. Because turns out this lady <laughs> is a cop. <laughs> Just having a night off. Yeah. Just wanting to watch a movie. A cop. A cop. Um, we could not make this story up. This is as true and as authentic as it gets, guys. <laughs> I didn't even care. At the, I was like, good. Because if I die, you're going to know what to do. So mm -hmm. she's trying to get uh, information out of Gloria. Gloria's not responding no. at all. So she's asking me information about her. And since I'm the best friend, and I know more about her than she knows about me, of course I told her everything correct. When's her birthday? <laughs> Boom. Even though I'm tripping. <laughs> Anthony Robbins. <laughs> her birthday is Unleash the Power Within. Moon 27. <laughs> so I give her all her information at a very slow pace. And she starts throwing up again. Oh, God. And I'm sitting there, and they, she, I hear her, she calls the ambulance, she tells the guy who comes in who cleans the theaters between movies, call the ambulance, get someone here for her. So she does that. The ambulance come really, really, really quick. At least we think. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a drink of coffee. <laughs> and from that point... <clears throat> I don't remember a damn thing of this. This is all... She comes to later. Yeah, I don't remember any of this. So um, the reason I'm not speaking right now is because I, I don't know anything that happened after the me throwing up. Nothing. Ooh. So we sit, we're sitting there. Um, she's asking me questions, asking her questions. I'm answering for her and for me. I'm doing double the work with half the speed of my voice. And the paramedics come. All I hear are people walking in, and I hear just noises, like beep, boop, boop, beep, 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 boop, boop. <laughs> and I was like, what is that? And I open my eyes enough to see a gurney, that, like this, boom. I see a gurney, um, a stretcher, basically on wheels, and are they called gurneys? I yeah, don't know. Yeah, they're called gurneys. Where they put you on the bed and they wheel you out. Mm -hmm. I see that come in through the door. We're still sitting down. They, the paramedics come over, they pick her up, and I hear the cop telling the paramedics what's wrong with her. She's been throwing up, she's convulsing. Um, let's get her on the stretcher. So the paramedics come, they pick her up, they walk her over to the stretcher, put her on there. Meanwhile, they're talking to me. Um, at this point, I'm upset, because they're not treating me with the same respect they're treating Gloria, okay? I want to go on a stretcher as well. <laughs> I realize they're going to make me walk. Yeah. So I'm upset, so I start faking it. <laughs> I start acting like I'm sicker than I am. I start dry heaving, trying to throw up. Because I'm like, if I throw up, they're going to put me on a stretcher too. So I'm like... <laughs> Nothing's coming out. Um, I'm just tripping. So uh, my mouth is so dry. Like, I can't speak. So I try to play on that a bit. I'm like, I can't breathe. I can't... My mouth is dry. Mm -hmm. So I tr they're like... They give me a cup. I don't know whose cup. Filled with ice chips. They're like, chew on these. And I'm like, I don't want that. I want a gurney. Y'all are disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> An oasis in my mouth suddenly. And so I give them my ID by doing this. But the paramedic was over here. <laughs> Slow. And that's as fast as I could go. And so the paramedics, they help me up. I stand up and I'm like, okay, I can stand. But I was walking to get, we were in the middle of the aisle, towards the end, actually, I think. And we had to walk the rest of the way out through the chairs. This is my favorite part. But I was walking 
to get out of the chairs as if people were sitting in the chairs and I was like trying to scoot away from their legs, like, excuse me. But my legs would go up real slow <laughs> and then come down. So it took a long time to get out. And then I get out from the chairs, I see Gloria's on the stretcher and the paramedics are all surrounding her and they're wheeling her out. But as they wheel her out, I'm looking and all I see is Gloria laying on the stretcher like this. <laughs> With a nerd's rope candy just tucked in her waistband like contraband. <laughs> just like this. And they're wheeling her out and I noticed someone said, oh, she's not gonna need those. <laughs> Takes them out. <laughs> and I wanted to laugh because that was by far the funniest thing that's ever happened to me ever. Because we always sneak in our candy in our waistband. Because we're not going to pay $10 for a piece of candy at a movie no theater. Way. So, they start wheeling her out. And I'm walking. I'm like doing knee highs. <laughs> and I know I'm walking stupid, but I can't help it. Like, my legs won't work right. My favorite part of when you told me this entire story, though, is that at this point... He thought he was getting punked. Oh no, I will get there. I thought I was getting punked the whole time. That's why I heard the boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. I thought it was fake. Are we getting plunked? <laughs> the whole time, um, from sitting in the chair when I heard the noise to seeing the gurney, when I opened my eyes and I glanced, the gurney looked like it just had like lights hanging off of it. It looked like, sketch. It looked sketch. Like they built it in a, in like an office cleaning supply room and just brought it out like they do this well people get high here all the time so we just bring out this fake gurney these fake paramedics they have just jackets with like press on paramedic stickers and so I'm skeptical the whole time I'm like they're making fun of us. that was my idea of what was happening they're making fun of us okay mm -hmm. my Latin pride transferred on to him yeah I was like okay so I was very <laughs> confident given my ID like I know protocol I'm... <laughs> so every time I see the gurney it looks fake 100% like there's just dangling like Christmas lights just like very poorly made I'm like y'all could have done a better job with the gurney so we're walking out I can't open my eyes at this point uh, and we're walking down the hallway towards the exit door and I can hear things really well like really well I can hear people laughing and I know they're making fun of me because the paramedics are holding up signs that say these two got high in the theater, okay? They're holding up signs. They're not. That's what I thought. Okay. Oh, God. I was about to say. The whole time, I thought they were just like, they had this ruse for people who got high at theaters. <laughs> this is what we do. We have the cardboard cut out, and it says... Look at these guys. They got high in theaters. Don't get high in theaters. Walking around and people are snickering at the signs. I'm they like, made, guys, made, come on. They made a Red Ribbon Week poster out of that. <laughs> guys, I'm like walking like this. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't do anything. I know I'm high, but I'm like, I just have to go with it. So I'm angry. I'm upset and frustrated. I'm like, they're making fun of us. And we're walking. We eventually get outside. And... Um, there's a ambulance backed up and I'm like y'all go all out for this <laughs> Y'all really just Go the extra mile. Okay <laughs> So they know I'm struggling and they want me to step up into an ambulance They already <coughs> Gloria's in there. Okay. They want me to <laughs> step up. And, is my chair squeaking? They want I thought it was gas <laughs> <laughs> I get gassy when I tell stories. <laughs> they want me to step up into this, maybe two and a half feet high. Step up into that. I can barely walk straight. So I, I put one foot up there, and I hop up, back down to the ground. <laughs> and I can't quite get up in there. I eventually get up in there. They have a like a seating area. And then Gloria's in front of me laying down, and there's a paramedic in front of her. Okay. I'm like, they're just going to drive us around the parking lot. <laughs> Bring us back when we're sober because we're gonna we're gonna come to in like ten minutes the high's gonna be gone, <laughs> and then they're gonna be like, guys, we were just we recorded you. If you want to pay for the video, it's twenty dollars. Um, we made a dare out we of made you. A, we made a dare. Um, 
don't do this again. Here's your car. Drive away. Have a great night. Yep. No. Um, what had happened was we're sitting in the ambulance. They're going. I have no seatbelt. So every bump they hit, I'm headbutting Gloria because I'm... <laughs> and they... <laughs> They couldn't care less to strap me in or help me at all. So they're trying to tell me, <laughs> they're asking me important questions. And I'm, I'm still under the impression it's fake. So he's asking me, he says, what's your social security number? And I'm like, seven. I'm like, this guy. I'm, so in my head, I'm like, I'm going to give him a fake one. So I start rattling off numbers. But it's my real <laughs> social security number. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything fake at the time so i just gave him my real one i was like what what are you gonna do with that i was like you're not gonna steal my identity and so i give him that we eventually make it to the hospital and we get out i walk into the hospital um they've already transferred gloria into an er room by herself but th they're making me stand outside in the waiting room with them they're just standing there so we're all standing i'm like this is another ruse like, y'all are just making me stand here because they know I'm going to get tired and pass out. And I did. Um, I got super tired just standing there in the lobby. I wanted to fall asleep so bad. So I was looking around for a chair. Couldn't find one. So I sat on the floor up against the computer. I think I went inside the desk area, but I was sitting there sleeping. And they're like, no, you got to stand up. And I was like... And then I stood up. And I thought I was going to pass out or fall asleep standing up. It was the, that was the worst part of the whole thing. Standing there for, it felt like two hours. Mm -hmm. They walked me in, finally, to Gloria's room. And she's laying in a bed. She has an IV. She's got covers. They sent me in a chair. Yeah. In the corner. Yeah. So this is when I come to a couple of hours later, maybe. Oh, I tripped during that whole point. And... Again, this is a very <laughs> emotional part for me because I come to and I'm like not feeling it as much anymore. The only thing I feel is I feel really thirsty and I feel dizzy, but I can see clearly and I'm coherent. I can hear the monitors. I can hear the nurses. And then I wake up and out the corner of my eye, I just see a small little ginger boy doing this. I was cold. <laughs> <laughs> come lay down and he goes I am <laughs> <laughs> so all I could do was watch him <clears throat> and then my again Latin pride was like nurse can I get the keys to my car please I didn't even drive <laughs> <laughs> and I was like can I get the keys to my car please I need to drive him home and she was a rude nurse like she was mean she was like I can't give you the keys to your car and I was like, why? And she goes, well, one, you didn't drive here. And two, you're on drugs. <laughs> like, facts and facts. It's like, Phyllis, first of all, I have work in a couple of hours. I need to go. Gross. Um, and then I remember like falling asleep again because eventually he just goes. So he's asleep and I couldn't like bring him to lay down with me because in his mind, he was already laying down. It felt nice. She yeah. just wouldn't share the covers. Um, but in this moment, I remember, like, giving my insurance card, and <laughs> I was prepared. I don't know. I had everything with me in my bag um, that had <laughs> throw up on it. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> I was wearing a skirt. I was wearing new shoes at the time, I remember. They had throw up everywhere. I, like, smelled the acid, and <laughs> I was just so happy I was seeing him and not the color blue anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was shapes. I was never so happy to see shapes in my life. Because I didn't think I was going to come out of that high. Like, I was like, this is my life now. I'm in a color, watercolor world. This is me. Blue forever. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I remember calling, like, an Uber or a Lyft. Um, and oh. Yeah. Because that's how we made it back. So we called an Uber... Um, they called us, the hospital called us an Uber, and I remember giving really good directions, even though 
I had no idea what I was doing, but I think it was like your, I'm gonna give him a fake. <laughs> but I gave him the exact. Horrible idea. Perfect. For an Uber. Yeah, I even like knew the code because his apartment complex needed a code. I even knew the code and everything to get us in. And I remember like walking into his apartment cause he lived on the second mm -hmm. floor. So I had to like take him step by step cause he was, at this point he was feeling what I was going through while I was going through it. Like uh, when I was really tripping um, male genitalia uh, in the movie theater uh, on the gurney in the hospital. He was going through that. So he was going through that at this point. I was walking him up the steps and then I remember like kind of letting him go the second we got into the house, uh, his house. I closed the door and he just stood there. Like he just stood there. And I was like, let's go to your room. And he was like, we're there. <laughs> I'm in bed. <laughs> and so I had to like take his shoes off <clears throat> like really baby him into bed. I had to take his sweater off. I had to take his shoes off. I had to physically sit him and then lay him down. <laughs> and I remember this part. I felt so bad. <clears throat> his bed was up against a wall. <laughs> I remember sitting him down and then kind of laying him back, but he thrust his whole body way back and he hit the wall behind him. I've never wanted to be in bed so hard. And so I laid him down. Finally did one of these sana sana colita on his head to make sure that he wasn't concussed above all things. Um, laid him down, made sure he was asleep. And then I remember just like running to drink water. I drink so much water. And then I went to bed as well. And I woke up completely fine after that. Like, I think I woke up because all this happened like at three in the morning. I think we were released from the hospital at like three. So we got back to his place around four. And I woke up around 10 and was like, okay, I have to go to work. Um, I was still very dizzy and still feeling the remnants of it. But I was like, are you okay? Like, can I leave you? Are you okay? Do you remember any of this? No, I just took the next two days off of work. Yeah, um, <clears throat> I left him, but I made sure he had water right next to him. Um, and I would call him like almost every 20 minutes just to make sure, hey, are you like, okay, like, how are you doing? And um, the first day he was still feeling it. So, I mean, I think it hit me hard in the moment, but I think it hit him hard long term. Cause after I woke up like around 10, I was okay. Like I was dizzy, but I was okay but he was still kind of feeling it because I remember being on the phone with him and he was still like t taking his sweet time <laughs> saying, I'm okay, Yoya, I'm good. <laughs> Me and Anthony Robbins were up here doing our own thing. Um, but we, we survived. We survived. Mm -hmm. It was weird because that when we were in the ER and you were sleeping, like I couldn't fall asleep because I was tripping, mm -hmm. but like my eyes were shut. They were not gonna open, mm -mm. like that real heavy shut. And you can hear things really well. So I could hear the, the phones ringing outside, the people talking as they walked by audibly. Like I could hear every, sing every, every single thing that they were saying very well. And people would come by and they would look in the room and say, what happened? Um, oh, they got high at a theater and then they would laugh and walk away yeah um making fun but Dallas. every single time someone came in they would say oh he's not enjoying this at all and i'm like what does my face look like because <laughs> i'm enjoying it i'm up here like the paranoia is gone i'm like i don't care <laughs> cool and then i was like having the goodest time and they were like he's resisting it but she's having a good time <laughs> And I was like, I'm not resisting it. And then it hit me and I got real sick and that's when I just doubled over. But, and then the Uber driver kept making wrong turns. I don't know if that's your fault for giving her wrong directions, oh, but she kept missing the turn. I'm over here thinking I gave good directions. And I was like, this is not the time. Cause I'm just in the back seat. And she's like, what's wrong with him? Nothing. <laughs> He's just tired. He's just tired. <laughs> uh, talking about Anthony Robbins and my mumble. Yeah. 
but um, we'll never do it again. Uh, no. Ever. We've never touched an edible since. We haven't even smoked anything um, other than salmon. <laughs> 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 Don't try this at home. Or at theater. Mm -mm. And that is, is the our craziest story. Is the edible story. Also, a uh, side note, about a month and a half later, I went to go get uh, my mail and I got a bill for $5,000. That's why I lived in my car. <laughs> if you want to know, it seriously was. I got a bill for $4,000. I don't know why yours was so much. Good Lord. I thought you had insurance. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, oh, they didn't give me an IV or anything. Yeah. I just sat there and had to pay $4,000. She got hooked up and cured. I got a gurney. $5,000. Yeah. Um, my insurance did cover it, though. Sorry. It probably would have been a lot more. Sorry. That's okay. I lived in my car so I could pay off debt. If you ever want to know what the debt was. It's a circle. A bad decision. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Or you'll live in your car. Did we go back and watch Get Out? <laughs> no. <laughs> we did not. Couldn't tell you how the end uh -uh. goes. I think it's a happy ending. He saves the princess, right? Yeah. Pretty sure. Yeah, he wins the Super Bowl. Congratulations.